Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back in garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In this video feature, I'm going to give you an update on growing a banana tree in a pot. I've got something interesting to show you, and it's so interesting that I have to remove it because you see, I'm growing a banana tree in a pot and not in the ground. So, in this update, you'll be seeing me removing something possibly. So let's go ahead. Okay guys, so I hope that you can hear me properly. I have to have the camera far away from me for you to see at least almost the whole plant because you can see the extreme top of the plant. Um, so far what have happened is that this one, this is a surprise, this is what I've removed from the plant because here it have another banana sucker growing already next to this one. But because I'm growing it out in a pot, I do not want to leave two plants in this limited space. If it was in the ground, I would leave this one because what happens if you have not been following me in growing banana, what happens is when this one grows big and produce, if it was in the ground, when this one grows out and produce, eventually I will have to harvest the banana and this one would have taken its place. So this one will be the next one to produce and then it will send another. Already I'm seeing that the, somewhere here might have one developing right in front there. I can see where it have a bump growing on this um, old banana plant. If you remember, that was an old banana plant that I cut down and I didn't realize I could actually plant the sucker. So that's what happened. Um, when I didn't plant the sucker, I cut it down and then I realized I could plant the base and the base sent out a sucker. So what I have to do now with no choice is to remove this smaller one right here. What I could do possibly is to remove this bigger one. I want to leave this one especially because it has already grown out and it's the banana tree that was featured in the first video on how to grow a banana in a pot. So I have to leave it. So I'm going to remove this one. I want to give you a closer view so come closer as we do this. So as you can see, this is the old banana plant right here, this right here. And it's you know, this bigger plant and this smaller one is going next to it. Now I want to actually plant this somewhere else, so I'm not, I'm not just going to cut it off. I want to cut it off in a way so that I can transplant it somewhere else. It's looking like it is very deep. It's looking like it's deep because look how wide there is. So I have to try my best. Assuming it's this. This is very risky. I cut things in a circular way to see if I could, if it's attached to the plant. This is very. Oh, okay. oh, thank God. I got it out with some roots, so hopefully it will go. As you can see here, it's very white, so I'm not sure if it will survive, but thank God it has some roots, so I can transplant it. Hopefully, these roots will be strong enough for it to take up nutrients to survive. But this is it. This is the other plant that was going with it, which I can't afford to leave. So I have to take it out. But look at this already. You seen this white part here? This is already a sucker that was that might be coming out. Just gonna trim it off here. I don't want it to start growing at all. Because this is just a trial. Oh here's another and here's the other one I was telling you at first. One, two, well, I guess I'll leave them. If they do go out, I will um I'll transplant them again. Look at how low the compost material I've gotten. Check this out. If you remember, I placed a lot of compost material in there. Watch that. It's all gone. It's like it's, it's decomposing very, very fast. Um, so I have to add more right now. Guys, I hope this encourages you to actually try to grow banana tree in a pot. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. You could check me out on Instagram at AgroSwede, on Twitter also at AgroSwede and Facebook AgroSwede. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel which is called June Swede, just a commentary. You could look for us on YouTube. The links will also be below, but also you could check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. Thank you very much. And remember guys, a bucket garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And AgroSwede! is out.